Well, my name is Brett Rothstein. I teach in the art history department here at Indiana University. The way that I arrived at art history is sort of the way most people do, which is they didn't even know it existed. I didn't know it existed. I'd been to museums with my parents and I'd taken art classes, but I didn't know there was this thing called art history. So I signed up for a couple of art history courses thinking, well, we'll see what it's like. And the first thing that went up on screen was a picture of a Renaissance painting and it just completely changed my life. There was this moment where I was looking at this painting and thinking that is weird, like the space, the, the depiction of space in it, the light, the color, the surfaces, the textures, it was all very, there was something about it that really grabbed hold of me. So there was a challenge there that I really liked, which was trying to kind of figure out where little bits of hidden information would be. And I, I went on with that for the next 20 years or so. But as I went along with it, I started getting more and more interested in the ways that people mess with each other. I really like watching people mess with each other. Pranks, hoaxes, jokes, games. And in these paintings that I've been working on, there are actually jokes and games built into them. And this is even in religious paintings. I worked more and more and more on that. And then, um, and then I got the job here and everything changed. I brought up the webpage for the Lilly Library and just on one corner was a little thing that said Jerry Slocum Puzzle Collection. As I started playing with the puzzle collection, I started using it in my classes and it grabbed hold of me the way that painting had grabbed hold of me when I was uh, an undergraduate. And I started asking myself why people make puzzles, why they make so many of them, why they make such different ones. And I realized that that was kind of the same question I'd been asking all along, which is really a question about difficulty. So we will build some puzzles, we will play with some puzzles, we will go to the Lilly Library, which has the world's largest mechanical puzzle collection. We will spend time being frustrated by puzzles and processing that frustration, all in an effort to understand what it is about difficulty and engagement with the world that drives us forward. Because the dirty little secret about difficulty is it's what we're really after. Solve a puzzle and it's great, you feel good, and then you get hungry. Where's the next one?